Our conversation with Lynn Lemkul is brought to you by Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. And Lynn is the author of Chair Yoga for Seniors, Stretches and Poses that You Can Do Sitting Down at Home. Let's say good morning. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Todd. It's good to have you happy with to us be here. here. Well, well, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're happy to be here. And probably you're up and you're moving around and uh, feeling pretty good <laughs> today. Yes. Others of us, maybe not so much. My neck is out. My hip is out. I'm not moving around like I once was. I'm not the flexible, balanced person that I thought I was or I know that I was in previous years. So maybe there are people sitting out there in just that position and sitting. Oh, there are plenty. And do I have a book for you? Yeah. (laughs) I wrote uh, Chair Yoga for Seniors. Mm -hmm. Uh, I started writing it at the end of last summer. And the reason that I wrote it, and I felt really passionate about it, I had been teaching chair yoga to seniors for mm, about four years, Mm -hmm. and I have been so encouraged and excited about the progress that so many people make with committing to a short, um, fairly frequent chair yoga program. Mm -hmm. The number one fear among adults 65 plus is falling. It's falling because that is the number one cause of injury and death among seniors. I created a program where we can have a full yoga practice, Mm -hmm. both for mobility and flexibility and also strength while sitting in a chair. You immediately remove the fear and concern about falling. The security of sitting in your chair, whatever, you can sit in your favorite chair and do this practice. It is amazing the kind of things that it can bring to one's sense of well-being and their muscles and their ability to move with more ease. And as you look through it and you understand exactly how you structured this book, uh It's for everybody, isn't it? Beginners, uh, those who've been doing it a while, and those who might consider themselves to be um, um, uh, quite into it. Uh, It it really does encompass everything. And that was very much by design. When I started teaching chair yoga, I teach chair yoga to people who are just simply older but are a little fearful about standing on a yoga mat and and doing yoga, just a little concerned about maybe balance issues, and all the way to people with dementia. I volunteer at a dementia group every Friday and teach chair yoga to a group of anywhere between 10 and 15 people who are suffering from dementia, and the opportunity to be able to get people who are becoming increasingly insular and reclusive and uh, not just not mobile at all, getting them to open up and to move. So it is, the book is about, one, introducing it as, as something that is fun. That's, that's not hard to do. It's not a big commitment. It's not complicated. And I start off with a 20-minute program for absolute beginners, and I go up to 30 minutes for people who are advanced. My hope and goal is is that those who start the book right at the beginning as a beginner will be motivated enough to progress through the book. And, and there's so many books about, there actually are a lot of books about chair yoga, oh, and yeah. it's specifically for seniors. I bought them all when I started teaching this. I, I just wanted to see what was out there. And what I found were, were books that are hard to understand, not not good pictures, not really descriptive. They left a lot to the imagination. I stripped that all away, made it simple, straightforward. My photos of people doing the poses are <laughs> friends and family who are 65 plus. Uh-huh. And not everyone's doing the poses so perfectly. They're doing what they can in that because that's real. That's yeah. what... That's what, uh, you know, anyone who comes to this book uh, is, is coming to it, one, because they want to change how they feel. They want to feel better and be 
a, a little bit more mobile and that feel a little more at ease in their body. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't come easily, but my goal was to introduce it in a way that is uh, that's doable and accessible and doesn't confuse people. So that's what that's why I wrote the book, and uh, I, I'm just very excited about the reaction of people who are buying the book and w- reach out to me and tell me that you know they've had recent joint surgery, hip replacement, knee replacement, frozen shoulder, and that this has been helping them and it's easy to follow. And One that's, of, that's what I get excited when people say it's easy to follow because mm-hmm. yes, that's what I wanted it to be. That was the aim. Um, two things I wanted to focus on here. One, okay. developing exercise as a habit and uh, how everybody can do that. And two, chair yoga can be done mm-hmm. practically wherever you are, anywhere you go, right? Absolutely. And I have a chapter on that. You can do it when you're on the bus. You can do it when you're, well, I used to say you can do it when you're on a plane. Nobody's going on a plane these days. You can do it while you're in a waiting room, waiting just, uh, ha- you know, for an appointment. All you have to really be doing is sitting down. And I take the reader through a couple of things to do uh, while they're sitting in a chair, wherever that chair may be. You can, I live in New York City, and I live near Central Park. And I imagine people just going over to the park, sitting on a park bench and just doing some leg work and some twisting and some shoulder rolling to really get one's body moving. Yes, it can be done anywhere by anyone. Speak to that topic of exercise as a habit, because uh, there are people who will start things and they'll say, "Okay, that was okay. I'm a little bit sore Mm -hmm. today. I'm Mm going to take a day off. Tell me about that. Well, I, I really do emphasize that. My goal is absolutely to initially make it palatable, make it easy enough that one doesn't come away from it and say, oh, uh, I didn't like that. That was, that was too hard. Make it so it is fairly easy to do, definitely easy to understand. I encourage, absolutely encourage the reader to play music uh, while they're, doing their practice and not yoga music. If you love Frank Sinatra, you play Frank Sinatra, <laughs> play music because music makes us happy. We, we know that. So I encourage creating an environment in which you are happy that you feel good. And I talk about, and I start out really, really slowly where you're not, the reader's not in any way cautious or intimidated about, doing it again the next day or in two days. Then I really talk about and emphasize the value in consistency. And by consistency, I mean a minimum of three times a week. It's really time-wise, a pretty small commitment. But my goal is, and I structure this, to create an environment in which after a little while, the person who's doing this and following the book they realize, oh, I, I, this makes me feel good. Yeah. It calms me down. I feel a little more mobility in my neck and shoulders. So I create an environment and suggest an environment in which one wants to do it on a consistent basis as opposed to, oh, I have to do this. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like, oh, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I have to. No, it's like, oh. This is, uh, let me, it's time to do my chair yoga. This feels good. Yeah. Got to do it as opposed to can't wait to do it or two entirely different things. The book is Chair Yoga for Seniors, Stretches and Poses that You Can Do Sitting Down at Home. Lynn Lemkiel, how do people get their hands on it? Well, right now with us, uh, uh, store closures and, and difficulty and actually getting out to bookstores, the easiest way is to get it on Amazon. Mm-hmm. But you can also actually order it uh, on uh, Walmart.com, Target.com, BarnesandNoble.com, any place uh, that sells books online. You can uh, you can get it. Amazon is probably the easiest, and most people uh, have access to Amazon. But uh, there, it's it's available uh, there. Once uh, bookstores open again, I hope that they'll be in the bookstores. But this book was published in April for the first time 
and the country was pretty much deep into uh, closure. So uh, yeah. the best yeah. best way is online, Todd. But lots of folks are looking for this sort of thing. Lynn Lemkiel, thank you so much for visiting with us today. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. My pleasure, Todd. Take care. You too. Have a great day today. Have a great day today.